Hey y'all, and um, welcome to Brantley Babes. My name is Kelsey Brantley. I am the owner. I sell digital downloads as well as transfers. Those transfers include sublimation transfers and white toner transfers. I do 99% of my designing in Procreate. Um, I like to print from Inkscape, but um, I had several people request a tutorial on how to do brush strokes. So um, that's what we're gonna do today. So as you can see here, I have my blank canvas. This is just an eight and a half, well, an 11 by eight and a half canvas. Um, We'll get into DPI and all that later. Um, it's that, Those are very important aspects, especially if you're going to be selling digital downloads or printing for orders such as commercial use, anything other than personal use, you wanna make sure you have the best quality. And I apologize for the background noise. This is my first tutorial to um, record, so hopefully you guys will learn something and I don't do too bad at it. <laughs> okay, so here we go. So I'm going to start on a layer by itself. If you don't know how to add a new layer, it's just this little plus sign here. Um, I am going to use a, let's go to the palettes. And I'm, let me set my colors here. I forgot to do that. So I'm gonna use a hot pink and I want to use a, like a light, baby turquoise blue and then I'm probably going to use black as well okay now it's going to be different patterns and stuff in the end but what I'd like to start out doing is choosing a brush all of these brushes came with the app um, I have not purchased well I have other brushes that I've added but um, this tutorial is just with the brushes that came on procreate to begin with um, so I like to stay in the painting and the drawing for my brush strokes. So I'm going to start with, I just look around and see what brush looks good to me. Um, I'm gonna start with this one right here. I, I think this is it. Yes, this is it. So this one is called Plimsoll, maybe pronouncing that wrong. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with my black and I'm going to just make one stroke down Okay, and now you have your stroke, you can select it with this arrow up here and down here you have several different options. Free form lets you change the width, the height, you know, free form. Uniform is gonna keep your uniform shape, make it any different size, okay? What I want to do is I want to make it a little bit wider, just a little bit taller and I'm gonna move it over here, okay? And then I'm going to create a new layer. This part is especially important if you wanna come back and change your colors or clip some patterns to it later. And then I'm gonna move on to a different color. I'm gonna move on to pink. And then I think I wanna go up to my drawing or maybe let's see what's in painting. The oil paint, I like to use it as well. You can change the size of your brush here and the opacity of your brush here. I keep my opacity turned all the way up for my brush strokes. I'm gonna do about right there. And this one is gonna take, I'm just gonna kind of color. Okay, I'm just gonna make a stroke and play around with it. You can hold it and it will, well, that didn't work. That's not what I wanted. So you have this and I don't really like the shape of it. So I'm gonna click warp on it. Okay. But you can see where you see where the black shows through. I'm going to duplicate that layer a couple of times and then I'm going to merge them together. If you didn't see that, just take your layer, swipe it to the left, click duplicate, I took that layer, swiped it to the left and duplicate it. So I have three layers here and then I'm going to pinch those three together to merge them, okay? You can also click on it and click merge down click on it again and merge down. Either way, you're gonna get the same end result. I'm going to go back to freeform and size it just a little bit smaller. Okay, now again, a new layer. Then I'm gonna go and start using my blue. Um, let's go to um, Sassafras. Let's do a blue streak here. 
Okay, and then I think I'm gonna take, I'm gonna duplicate it. But to give this one a different look than this one, I'm going to flip it vertically, okay? And then I'm going to make it a little bit wider and a little bit shorter and rotate it a little bit. Okay, and then you can just play around with it until you get what you think looks good. Everyone does things differently. Um, this is just what work, seems to work for me. Um, I'm going to go back to my blue. And let's go back to the pencil. And I'm going to do a layer here. But again, I don't want that that big. So I'm going to make it smaller. And here... I want it to go, I want the pink to show on top of the blue. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna deselect it and I'm gonna go into my layers. I'm gonna click and hold and I'm gonna drag it to where it's behind my pinks, okay? So as you can see here, if you'll watch right here, what it did, it took it from being in front of the pink to behind the pink. And then I'm gonna take my black and I think I wanna duplicate it and I'm gonna bring it over here I do want it behind the blue, but I want it to be a little bit thicker here, okay? And I don't want, I like the transparency of this blue right here, but I don't want the black to show through at the same time. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select that layer that that black is on. If you have trouble finding your layers, you can click this little check mark box and that hides it or pulls it back in, okay? So I'm gonna make sure I'm on that layer and then I'm gonna use my eraser and I'm going to come in and I'm just going to erase it as far as what's behind the blue. You can make a line and hold and it will make a straight line. You can click edit shape up here and move your line around however you want to get that angle. Whoop. Put that back. Stay put. And then click to release it. And then I'm just going to make sure I go in here and get rid of the rest of that black and as you can see I messed up so I'm just going to take that blue and make it a little bit longer and go back to my black easy fix it's what I love about the brush strokes is there's no right or wrong reason or there's no right or wrong to your method so I'm going to duplicate that blue I'm going to make it a little shorter and fatter I'm going to bring it up here and send it behind my black layer. I'm gonna click on it. I'm gonna click alpha lock. And what that does is it locks everything around that stroke. And then I want to make it pink. So I'm going to switch my color to pink, click on the layer again, keep your alpha lock and click fill layer. Okay. And then you can take your alpha lock off. Okay, so next we are going to use the same concept that we just used on that pink. I'm going to take my black strokes and make them a cowhide. So I click on the layer that I'm gonna want to change. I'm going to insert my file, which is my cowhide. And then I'm going to resize it, flip it around, get it to where I want it on that black. And then I'm gonna click on the cowhide layer and I'm gonna click clipping mask and it's gonna clip it to the layer below it, okay? I'm also going to duplicate it. I'm gonna move the two duplicated one up above the black, the other black one. I'm gonna take it and give me a different look. I'm going to use a different part of the cowhide. And again, I'm going to click it and click clipping mask. So right here is a good example. You can see how this one is a little transparent because I didn't duplicate that black layer. And then this one was the one that I did duplicate and merge together. I'm gonna keep playing with my cowhide here till I get it how I want it. Let's do a little more brown here. Okay, and then you can pinch them together to merge them. You can leave them how they are. It doesn't matter. I like to merge mine whenever I'm doing the patterns. Um, you can click it and click merge down. It does the same thing as pinching them together. It's totally up to you if you merge them or not. This next step, I'm going to click on this pink layer. I'm going to click combine down. 
And then I'm gonna do the same thing. And as you can see, it's putting them all in a group. There is a, you just double click your layer, click combine down. I am doing this for a reason. So now, instead of going in and resizing each individual brush stroke, I can move them all together and keep my uniform shape. I can free form it however I want, okay? And there you go, you have a brush stroke background. Um, if you're saving as a PNG, um, I like to make sure I have it how I want it as far as the size goes. And then you want to remove your white background that's gonna give you a transparent background. Please, if you're selling digital downloads, please make sure you know how to save with a transparent background. Not everybody prints sublimation, and sometimes when you're sizing your files, if it has a white background, it's gonna change how your dimensions come in and how your dimensions print. So now I'm going to export. I'm gonna click the little wrench up here for my tools. I'm gonna to click share. If you do PNG files down here, that's gonna share your layers, okay? It's gonna take each layer and add them into a zipped folder. I don't want that. I want it to be a flattened, finished PNG. So I'm going to save it as PNG right here. You can also save as a JPEG, PDF. It gives you several different options. I'm choosing PNG. And then right here gives you all your options. You can save it to the drive. You can email it, send it a messenger, save it to your camera roll. I save all of mine to my files to my iCloud right here where it says untitled artwork is where you can change the name of it. I'm going to name mine pink, turquoise, cowhide, brushstroke, tutorial. I'm going to click done and then you can save, um, save it to wherever, whatever folder you want it in. And there you go. Stay tuned because I did make a t-shirt design and I have a Tumblr design coming with this brushstroke pattern. Yay! Thanks for watching!